Good, Tim. Oh, I'm going to season a little chicken. With the secret stuff. Yep. Season the pan first. Make it taste better before I put the chicken in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want the pan to taste good. Yep, so we're IBCA cooking. We got these awesome heat lamps going. That things are warm too, my God. Oh, yeah, they're, they're gone. Warm. And uh, we're doing half chickens. You got four of them in there, right? Correct. No. Marinating in a little homemade concoction. I have to dry these off before I mm -hmm. season them. Had them brining. Turns out you want them smaller ones, don't you? Them smaller half chickens so they'll fit in the box. Uh, yeah, try to fill it up as much as you can, but you gotta close the lid in IBCA. Yup. And then, yeah, the lid's gotta be totally closed, and then you gotta make sure the wing tips are not cut off. Are not cut off. That's, that's not good. I wonder if you can, you know, like I've always folded my wing tip under. I wonder if you can do that on these. Uh, yes. For IBCA. This is my first time at an IBCA contest. But it is not Tim's first time. Second. Second time. Your first time you GC'd this thing, didn't you? Uh, yes, sir. I, I got lucky. We're at the Southern Crunk Barbecue Festivus. Randy Hill, Andy Allen. So this is a good little time right down here, I tell you. It's it's a fun contest, I think. Great Cold. <laughs> Great time. A little, little chilly outside, but uh, we try not to stay out there no longer than possible. What is today? January 26th? Today or 25th? Oh, I don't know. The 26th. Yeah, we're, we're the weekend of that, anyway. <clears throat> 2014. Got the old meal tough out there puffing away. There's two meal tuffs in this contest. Right. Who's who's got the other one? Alan Newton, Alan Smoky Pig, team name. Alan Smoky Pig. He's doing quite well. Yes, he is. Got quite a few trophies. So you just patting them dry just to get the excess se uh, brine and seasoning and stuff off of them? Yeah, yeah. I don't want them dripping. I don't want my rub to run off. Mm -hmm. I need to buy some stock in the paper, paper towel company. Yeah. And foil. That's <laughs> definitely foil. <laughs> We don't know what's in the mystery uh, seasoning bottle there, oh, but it's just got some spices. <laughs> just some spices. <laughs> we can tell you. <laughs> but it's good stuff. I can tell you that. That's why you know everybody else, like Johnny Trigg, he uses the Lowry seasoning bottle. We just use duct tape. Different bottle too. All right. Yeah, that's a good way of doing that. Yeah, most people forget to season the sides. Yeah. And that's where the bites come in at. Mm-hmm. Down he goes. BCA, I'm kind of liking this whole half chicken thing. I mean, chicken prep is easy. It's a breeze. Not bad at all. Just a pair of scissors and a little bit of brine, and you're on the road. Don't, don't have to do it at home. No. Yeah. And well, you're only case, doing four of them instead of like doing 12 or however many you can. Yeah, KCBS, you know, I usually trim on Wednesday at the home, and that's three hours. Yep. Yeah. 
Do you scrape skin for KCBS? Uh, no. 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 I do something, well, Tim, Tim's I a minimalist. That's right. <laughs> the, less work, the, the less work I can do, the better, the better off I am. As keep it as simple. Still, as long as I can still have a good product. Yeah, keep it simple, man. Your test chicken looked pretty good this morning. We posted a real quick video this morning on uh, Instagram, and there was a small peek at that test chicken. I liked it. It had good color. Yeah, you gotta get under the wing. What is the big difference in, in what light will do? The correct lighting. Them's got some good color to them. Yeah, we'll let them sit there and sweat a little bit and they'll be ready for the grill. Yeah, sweating's real important uh, because it lets the, uh, it, what I always called it, emulsify. It lets the, the seasoning break down and then it partially soaks into the meat a little bit. That way the flavor's going down in instead of just on the surface. Yeah. So now these will rest for, how long are you going to rest them? About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes and then on the pit. They're ready to go. On the Mule Tough with one F, Mule Tough. Yeah, MuleTough.com. Go check it out.